All right, guys, so you are in for a treat today. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys some homes in Winchester that really borders up to Menifee um, from TriPoint that range anywhere from, you know, about, you know, a little bit less than 1,400 square feet all the way up to about 2,200 square feet. So, um, honestly, I was out just getting my car washed and my brother's looking to buy property in here uh, as an investment property. So I thought, you know, I filmed some videos for him. Um, so I thought I'd just throw these up on YouTube. So these are very super informal videos. Uh, almost, you know, I'm really just showing my brother around the house but I've got them on camera, so I thought I might as well share them with everyone here on YouTube if they're looking for you know, some new builds in the Menifee, Winchester area. Um, so these homes are gonna be, like I said, anywhere from about 1,400 square feet, starting around 435,000, all the way up to about 2,200 square feet and just under 500,000. So every home I'm gonna show you today starts at under $500,000. Um, we are in the Copper Sky and Opal Sky um, build out here uh, at Outlook. These are by TriPoint Homes. Um, honestly, TriPoint is one of my favorite builders. Um, you'll see as we go through these houses, the just the, the I guess the design style. I know, I know that you know everyone that gets these houses don't don't get these designs, but uh, it really just jumps off you know off the I'm gonna say the screen here because we're, we're filming these things. Um, but just a little bit of rundown before we dive into these things. Um, the at the time of filming this. There's some houses that you're able to get into, um, you know, in the next two to three months. There's some houses that have, you know, wait list, you know, for six to eight months. So um, I know that they have about 80 more homes that are coming available. They're, you know, I don't even think they're, I don't even know if they're halfway through the build out here. So lots of opportunity here. Um, as I'm gonna show on this map right now, this is right down the road from a couple different shopping centers. So you got about five minutes down the road from a Stater Brothers and McDonald's and gas station, Starbucks, that sort of thing. And about five minutes further down that same road you're gonna get the giant shopping center in Menifee where you're gonna have all the kinds of restaurants Target uh, you know BJ's Red Robins all kinds of stuff that they're constantly building out Best Buy literally everything so uh, truth be told I you know we're out with my wife and we're showing our brother home so the other big kids are at at school so we're out doing our thing on a, on a Friday but thought we'd throw this up on YouTube so like I said very very informal um, if you want some information on these definitely go ahead reach out to me I'd love to help you out here so um, without further ado let's go ahead and check these homes so right now we're outside plan one here plan one we've got about 1400 square feet three bed two and a half baths you got the two car garage starting at 437 let's go back from this one so as you walk in here you got the stairs right on the right hand side i'll beat that would you like this one Whoa! A nice long hallway Going to the living area, you got half bathroom right there. Opens up to this living area. You got the living room, dining, you got the kitchen. Right there. Not a bad little living space for, you know, 435,000 bucks. Back, the backyards will vary on the lot, but this is kind of a similar size. Not the biggest backyard but enough to throw a barbecue out there and maybe some outdoor furniture to sit outside. And we'll go upstairs. Oh, here's the garage. The garage, you'd enter right here. But we'll go upstairs. This is again right off the right as you enter the house. Alrighty. Stairs. All right, so we've got over here we got our bathroom. You get the shower tub combo thing there, toilet, single sink. Right off the top of the stairs here, we've got the laundry area, laundry hiccups. A lot of these other homes are gonna have an actual set aside laundry room, as you'll see as we go through this. Got a decent sized bedroom here at the closet and almost like a little cutout type of area right there. So Bedroom number one, then we got bedroom number two. And just your, your normal size bedrooms. The closet, the sliding door is there. 
And then we head into the master. A nice little master here. Like what they did with the walls back there. All right, so right off the bed, you're gonna have a walk-in closet with lots of space to hang things and some shelves and lots of floor space too. Then we got the bathroom. They got a set up a little vanity area there. You got the shower, the dual sinks. You got like a towel closet type thing there. And then you've got the bathroom. That's it for that. All right, so this one here is the plan two. It is, what do you got? Plan two is about 1470 on the square footage. Three bed, two and a half bath, starting at 455. Wow! Oh, man down. Got the kitchen as you walk in with an island. So everything's kind of like right as you enter on the bottom. You can spin and see everything. Backyard out here. This one you kind of connected to someone else's like you can see into those windows of the first house we were at right there. Uh, pantry area. All kinds of cabinets. Crew, oh, crews don't touch. Uh, closet. I believe this is the bathroom, yeah. There's a downstairs little half bath downstairs. This is going to go to the garage. And the stairs going up. Here, up the stairs to the right, you're gonna have the laundry room. Then you have the two bedrooms up here with regular closets. I got this one set up as like a weight room looking thing. Workout area. Got the bathroom up here. Hey, Chrissy. Got the master. Double sinks, this one's pretty nice actually. Stand up shower there. Toilet area. Oh, then a big closet. Big old closet. Shower? Say I showered. Crazy, what is that? So what's cool on some of these homes, um, some of the ones that are available are gonna be overlooking into the pool area that's gonna be built out uh, in 2024. So you can have a room up here overlooking the pool. Yeah, there's basically the bedroom. Pretty, pretty spacious, actually. All right, so this one here is plan three. It's about 1,700 square feet. We got three beds, two and a half baths. This is tech center space, which I'm assuming it means like an office area. Uh, what was the price on this one, Christina? This one is 463.5. Starting at 463. So you walk in, you get the stairs right up there. Hold on, Chrissy. Walk in, and you have a half bath right at the bottom down here. You got a little mini, mini island. <laughs> Cruz loves these houses. Each one's been impressive, Chrissy. Kitchen. You got the dining room right here. Here's a little, small little courtyard in the back. Um, you know, different different houses have different sized backyards, but a lot of them aren't super big. Then you got the living room area here set up. They have some nice, I guess, accent walls there. There I am. I got next to the garage. We'll head upstairs. Oh uh, yeah, here's a little tech area they talked about. So this is basically like an office space up here. I got the laundry room. I don't know why I stacked them, but good for them. 
bedroom one. You're gonna have the upstairs bathroom with double sinks, that's kind of cool. Have a closet at the end of the hallway. It's bedroom two. You got the Mau Mau's? You see the Mau Mau? You see Mau Mau's? Crazy. Mau Mau. All right, let's go. Show the, let's see the big bedroom. Mau. Say, the say meow? cheese. What does that one say? It's the master here. Shower and tub combo there. Double sinks. A little the throne and then another walk-in closet. Alright, so right here is plan four. This is the most available one. So this is the one you could basically move into December, January, or button no, close escrow January or December or January. It's very fast. About 1750 square feet. You get the option for three or four beds, two and a half baths. Got the option for that loft, and it starts in the 462 range. And Cruz is like at a playground right now. Hi, Cruzy. Do you like new builds, Cruz? Do you like new builds? Cheese. Cheese. Let's go. Come on. Oh, future tot lot. Um, oh, cool. oh, that's good to know. There's a future kids playground thing right there. That's pretty cool. Also, the two car garage. You've left that out. Oh. I think I'm gonna probably come back and do YouTube videos, but okay. Right as you come in this one, you walk. Well, <laughs> are you amazed every time? <laughs> you amazed? I also got the closet as you enter. You got the living room. Uh, living room area here. Then you got the kitchen. Nice island here with the spar stool area again. You can have a pantry back there. Let's go, let's go see that. This one. Oh yeah, I got the glass cabinets. Yeah, oh, a walk-in pantry. There we go. Lots of space there. This is the one that's available now. This is a really cool setup. Yeah, but the back door just brings them a lot. So we got yeah, a lot more space in the backyard here. Oh uh, yeah, grab one. So with that still downstairs. You're gonna have the it's the garage entrance right there. A little half bath as you enter the house through the garage, and then your stairs. So it's cool because you can come in, you park your car in the two-car garage, and then you got, boom, kitchen, living room, bathroom, and then you go upstairs, and you can have all the normal living stuff. It's a pretty good bang for your buck at 460-something. The stairs to the left, we're going to have bedroom one. Bedroom two is right next door. Gonna have bathroom, you got the double sinks. A lot of space actually in this one for being this type of bathroom. Right here, normal bathroom. Yeah. Closet space there. I believe one of these two bedrooms could actually be turned into the loft on the floor plan. So um, the model doesn't have it, but one of these two, I'm gonna guess it's that one, would be a loft area if you chose to have three bedrooms instead of four. So you got washer dryer, laundry room, you got a little mini walk-in closet for bedroom number three. Normal size bedroom. I'm gonna go into the master. Master bedroom here. And you walk into 
bathroom. Available bathtub if you'd like. Got the little shower thing there. Double sinks. The throne room. And then probably the biggest walk-in closet out of the first four that we've seen. Uh, plan five was kind of where the front office is. So this is where the two car, where the office is where the two car garage would go. Uh, but plan five is about a little bit under 1900 square feet. <clears throat> oh, next page. And we got, so yeah, 1882 on the square footage, three to four baths, sorry, three to four beds, two and a half baths with a loft. And this one's at 475. Oh, careful, cruise it. You just fell hard. Safe. Walk in here to the left. You got a seating area. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got a little half bath downstairs. Actually, a pretty good sized half bath. You got a really cool. Christine loves the wall. Dining. You got the stairs going up. As you walk in, you got the kitchen. Really big island. Big island. You got the, the living room area. Lots of counter space here on the sides of the fridge. That'll be the garage. And you got pantry space. I don't know what's in there. I'm gonna guess there's just another closet. Backyard on this one looks pretty, a pretty good size. So the backyard here. Now you'll probably notice that right now you can hear the street noise. There is actually one of our bigger streets. There's not like a lot of traffic, but you can hear it when it's there. Um, that's Newport slash Dominigoni where it goes up and down like from the 15 freeway past 215 all the way up to where we are but that's the main road you would take to get to the shopping center you got you know this is the bigger backyard so if you made it let's go Cruz let's go inside let's go show them upstairs let's go upstairs Cruz upstairs three points Cruz he's in the backyard Who's he? Yeah, so he's out there. I'm gonna go upstairs. Go. I'm going up there. Nice. Wood going up the stairs. Oh yeah, there's a loft on this one right as you come up the stairs. I, you may or may not be able to turn this into an extra bedroom, but really cool setup as a loft there. And you got one bedroom. Okay, so that that loft would would be bedroom number four. So this is set up as a three bedroom. And that with the closets. With the bathroom up here. So a lot of counter space, but only one sink. Unlike a lot of the other ones, I have multiple sinks. Closet, laundry room. Uh, I think I showed bedroom one already. Bedroom two slash three. Depending what you use that loft. Closet space there. We got the big bathroom as you enter the master. Shower in the corner, double sinks. And then we got the master with a walk-in closet right off the bed, basically. Pretty good size walk-in. There's more behind the door here, even. Lots of space for this. We got the master there. House number six, I just wanna show you the, the pool thing. is gonna look like that. A pool and spa right in the middle of a bunch of them, so that'll be cool. Anyways, we got house number six, or plan number six right here. Once again, two car garage. Give me the specs on six, please. Cruzy, this house. Plan six, we got 2,054 square feet, three to four beds, two and a half baths 
with a loft and this one is starting at 472. 472. <laughs> Surprised every time. Feels like the first time every time. No, not up yet. So, uh, got the garage entrance right there on this one. You got the stairs going up. This feels like a really, it feels big. Got the giant island here. This is huge. There's cabinets and everything. This will be to the pantry. Pantry area. Cabinets there, you got your dining area, you got the, this little, you got a bathroom, half bath in here, off of the living room, got another closet area, really cool, then you got backyard, oh my god, they're getting too much, the backyards are gonna vary, but, not the biggest, but that one felt bigger. No! I'll go upstairs. So once again, this is right off as you enter the house, right there, whether through the garage or the front door, or side door, depending how it's structured there. Oh, this is looking cool. Already got a work area. Right up the stairs. Oh my gosh. Boom, to the loft. This loft work area is amazing. I'm gonna guess this is the master. All right, we'll start at the end of the master, but we'll start at the master on this one. Nice big. So you got the walk-in closet off to the corner over here. Whoa, that is a big one. Pretty good size walk-in closet. Get the bathroom here. Double sinks. We got the bathroom thrown. Whoa. I know. This loft, man. Whew. Like it. And laundry room off the top of the stairs, which is good with all the bedrooms up here. I have double, oh, not double sinks. One sink again. Separate little area. So if someone has kids, they can close the door right there. And someone's showering, going to the bathroom. Someone's getting ready for school, whatever. Another closet. Here's, yeah, so this one, if it's going to be a four bedroom, it's going to get rid of the loft. So with the loft, this is a three bedroom. Cruzy, you like? Oh. Let me go. So other bedroom. And this one's gonna have, looks like a walk-in closet here too. Dang. It's a good room for like a teenager or something or a little baby with a bunch of toys. I don't know. Anyways, that's this house. To plan seven. Can you read off the specs for plan seven to me? Please. 20, just under 2,200 square feet. Four or five. Four or five bedrooms. That means there's probably a loft area. There's gonna be three baths. In the loft and I've been to this one several times I know the way this model set up right when you walk in it's gonna be amazing let's see the reaction hold on hold on I'm gonna close this and you gotta walk in uh, let's see if she's gonna like that part Whoa. what do you think well alright so as we walk in this one so I was saying you're gonna like the, this is obviously custom right there as you walk in, but you got the garage entrance right here. You go to the stairs, we'll stay downstairs for a sec. You got this little built-in area there. You got the living room. You've got kitchen, you got an island, no barstool area, but kind of like a U-shaped, L-shaped kitchen type thing. Pantry over here. Kind of a walk in closet. Then you got a bedroom down here. You get the half half bathroom, or no, it's a full bathroom actually, I guess. Got that. 
And then we've got bedroom number one downstairs. I didn't show you guys the backyard yet. So here's the backyard. Here we go there. Boom. But yeah, so this is the dining area, guys. Um, so there's normally they have like the big dining room off the kitchen there, but this one they got, obviously this is a built-in type thing. It's going to be custom, but this is where the formal dining is intended to go. And there's Cruzy Man going up the stairs. Watch out, Bubba's. Ah, slam dunk. Daddy. Daddy. All right, we got the loft area up here. Wow. Very nice loft. Mm. Bedroom two upstairs. So once again, this is up to five bedrooms. So if you wanted that fifth bedroom, this is no, there's nothing there that this would be bedroom five right in this spot instead of the loft. <laughs> what is Cruzy gonna do? There's two sinks. Where are you at, Cruzy? <gasps> Where are you? What are you doing? Shower. Shower. <laughs> Nothing there. We got the next closet there. It's kind of sort of a walk-in-ish. Got some hanging space. Good sized room there. Cruise, get out of the shower. All right, right outside the master, we've got the laundry area. And then we'll get to the master. This is definitely the biggest master we've seen today. It kind of makes sense, it's the biggest floor plan. I went to there, hey, there's, the, there's me. We've got the bathroom, toilet area, shower tub. The dual sinks, and then we got another pretty good sized walk in closet as well. Cru Cruzy, what is that? What's that thing? Shower. Shower. All right, so that was all seven floor plans. Um, like I said, you know, there's something here for everybody, um, whether you're kind of just a a family, you know, just looking to get your first home, you know, maybe have a kid or planning to have kids, you want one kind of a smaller floor plan, um, you know, a starter home, you know, you got that here for about 435 to 440. Um, and if you got like a fully established family and you're just looking to, to make a change, you've got the that last home we just saw, about 2,200 square feet, four or five bedrooms, depending how you guys want to do things. Um, but there are all kinds of incentives um, here. I, you know, I talk to people at the front, at the front desk. As of right now, um, if you have to, you have to go through their financing, um, regardless of the type of house you're gonna get, one through seven, uh, or if you have your own financing, you have to go through theirs to get approved by them. Uh, but if you elect to use their financing, they're giving back up to nineteen thousand dollars in closing costs right now. So it could be for a rate buy down, it could be for upgrading on appliances or things of that nature. So different house upgrades, um, you can really choose to use that money however you'd like but you know if you're interested in this area this community definitely go ahead and reach out my contact information is down below in the description um, if you like seeing tours like this all around you know Menifee, Temecula, Murrieta really anywhere in Southern California go ahead and you know hit that subscribe button that way I can show more of these home tours to you and different neighborhood tours and that sort of thing um, like I said this was a very 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 informal I did not shave I'm wearing a freaking hat um, you know, we just happened to go get gas and get a car wash and then we were driving by and my brother wanted to uh, see some houses So I thought I'd throw them all together for you guys. So um, a couple last things just to touch on I don't remember if I talked about this earlier, but um, There is an HOA here. It's 157 bucks a month. Um, they're actually building out a giant pool and spa area Which is really cool. So we live in an area. We live in Heritage Lake, which is in Menifee about I don't know five minutes Just five minutes down the road from where we're standing right now and we have you know two pools big resort style pools but our biggest regret or thing we wish we had is a spa you know having those summer nights we're able to go go out here and just go hang out at the spa in jacuzzi um so that's something that i'm you know really looking forward to seeing how how that goes so that's going to be getting built out here 
um, in the next year, so in 2024. So like I said, if you're interested, you wanna learn more about this community, definitely reach out. I've got some relationships with the, the people in the front desk here. So uh, reach out to me if you wanna go check these out in person.